Garden Life, a cozy simulator. So, for what it worth, here, I really enjoy the game. If you take it face value, it's a very beautiful game. It is a relaxing and a strong example of cozy gaming with some very cottage core vibes. I simply adore the attention to detail. The watch, for example, how you tell time doesn't need to go that hard, but it's elegant and beautiful and I think overall it's a game seems to be well loved game by the developers. So however it is a still kind of new and it's not without some fixes. Take this with a grain of the salt I crashed my game after 3 hours burning my orange rose bushes. I'm so thankful for the game's auto save so I didn't lose all my progress. So the other major pet peeve I have is I do not see an auto sword function for the seed box. I also couldn't get the select single flower to move into my inventory to work much easier. I didn't get the far into the game, maybe day 16 or 17 in spring and so there are still something, a lot of things I recon that I have not unlocked or experimented with. Or maybe I am just not overworth uh, enough. Another pet peeve thought not a major, cause I don't use it so much as I should cause uh, I take time to read the thumb through it. It's a book of flowers. Tap option so I could quick access flowers wouldn't be wonderful or a sort option. Devs have started their testing ways to implement new plants limits, so my review is positive in the hopes that this change will come. Other curious fixes I wouldn't like to see are improved inventory system, auto sorting, increase overall stack sizes, better stack splitting, crafting from storage, fertilizing career balancing, plant name should show on mouse, however, improve the plant name tag item quest, planning, pause time or inventory and menus and slightly longer days. All of these things seem pretty minor to my overall enjoyment through. So I love the weather system, the color variations in the garden, the best growing location, the increased but gentle way the game lets you move at your own place is really 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 and really relaxing and rewarding. Watching the flowers bloom before my eyes rather than walking into a fresh garden every day is stunning. The I allow and want to point out is the ability to pet the cat, the little fish swimming in the stream and the frog in the gardening shop. All the little details tell me the game is well loud and is absolutely beautiful for it. Another thing I want to point out is the voice acting. Most of the major characters have a voice and a personality and it's kind of rare to see that these days and I really like those details as well. Sure, there is some more details of me to find, so I am really enjoying myself. If you like hobby gardening, beautiful games, attention details, it is all very, very unique and characterized. There is much a voice and style to the game, along with cozy, chill vibes that makes me want to continue playing. And if that is what you're looking for, a chill gardening game with exciting attention to details, Yes, I would recommend this game to you.